Who said you have to be brutal to survive the wild? Friendship and cooperation can go a long way, even for the most brutal of predators. You'll never believe the way animals look out for those around them. So let's look at some moments of the most dangerous animals being surprisingly friendly. Bear encounters don't usually end well, but this bear defied the odds and instead turned into a lovable teddy bear who was in need of some serious cuddles. <laughs> They say wild animals have a harder time forming relationships with humans, but when Chris Gillette decided to visit an old friend for the first time in almost two years, it was like he'd never left. This curious pod of grey whales swam right up to a boat full of people and tried to make friends. Oh, upside down. Oh. <laughs> this man and his pet cougar called Mocha have an unbreakable bond. He raised the big cat for five years. Who says cats can't be loyal? This little orca named Luna came asking a human for help after it lost track of its family. Who would have guessed something called the killer whale could be so sweet? Even though sea lions prefer to live solo, this one decided to hitch a ride on a man's kayak. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> this lucky photographer found himself surrounded by an entire family of gorillas. He looks reasonably frightened, but the gorillas trust him enough to let their babies wander around, which means he's already been welcomed into the family. Aww. This wildcat suddenly hopped into the back seat of a jeep and shocked the tourists sitting inside. It could have turned ugly in a matter of seconds, but the cheetah seems pretty friendly and relaxed. It takes more than a few guts to dare and swim with an 800 pound polar bear, unless you're these guys. Mark Dumas and his polar bear have been swimming around like this since the 90s, and by the looks of it, they don't plan on stopping anytime soon. This lion trusts his zookeeper so much that he literally lets him ride his back. Messi the puma is the friendliest wildcat you'll ever see. Alexander adopted Messi back when he was just a cub, and it's been nothing but cuddles ever since. We've all heard of squirrels and birds coming up to windows for some treats. Meanwhile, in Russia, this could go wrong any moment, but at least the bear looks friendly for what it's worth. Grooming each other is an incredibly important bonding practice for baboons, and they usually only let members of their own tribe do this. That is why it's super rare to see something like this. This massive lizard may look like it's straight out of Jurassic Park, but it's actually super friendly. The sweet reptile even lets the woman carry it into her home. Wolves live in tight packs and aren't usually friendly to strangers, but animals are just curious sometimes. So this pack of Arctic wolves surprised everyone when they calmly walked up to these workers in a remote part of Canada. Look at that, eh? Smell you, Ask any Australian. Kangaroos are easily one of the rudest animals you can come across, and their legs are actually lethal weapons. But after being rescued by these people, this little guy showed a bit of gratitude and politely shook hands with its saviors. Oh, he's thinking you. Instead of going the regular route and getting himself a golden retriever or a pug, this man decided to adopt a whole pack of hyenas. They do seem pretty friendly just like any other dog. This massive rhino thought it would be fun to take a stroll through this quiet old town, and the residents didn't seem to mind too much either. In fact, both parties stared quite curiously at each other. People usually view reptiles as cold-blooded killers. That is, until you see this lizard welcome its human back at home just like any other dog. Given that this animal is literally called a whale shark, you'd expect it to be double the trouble. But this baby whale shark seems to have made friends with a couple of divers instead. 
Believe it or not, moose are actually one of the most dangerous animals in the world. But these people should definitely consider themselves lucky. But by the looks of it, this is definitely one of the good ones. Hippos are extremely territorial and kill more humans than lions each year in Africa. So brave is the only word we can use to describe this man for standing so close to one of these tanks. One wrong move and things could take a very bad turn. This baby elephant seems to have developed a special sort of liking for this one tourist. Let's just hope mum isn't wandering around anywhere near because that could make things anything but adorable. No matter the size, cats will always be cats, and you can always expect a friendly purr, no matter how big the animal is. I don't need to explain why petting a skunk isn't a good idea, but here we are, and everything seems to be going better than expected. It's difficult enough having one tiger in your backyard, but this guy has taken on the challenge of caring for six of these magnificent animals. Play wrestling an animal that's like 10 times your weight doesn't sound like a great idea, but it looks like these two are having all the fun in the world. These guys are casually hanging out with a tiger as if it were just another one of their pets. Sure, it's a cub, but that doesn't mean it can't be dangerous. This friendly porcupine walked up to a wildlife conservationist looking for some cuddles, and it wasn't disappointed. This pet coyote gets treated better than most people. At least it gives the same amount of love back to its human. A fully grown lion hugging a human? You're about to be startled. This lioness simply could not contain herself when she saw the man who raised her as a cub. She even got in her belly and let him stand over her. Now that's something we'd expect from the queen of the jungle. If you thought Mowgli was a fictional story, these wolves are about to blow your mind. Anita hadn't been to the zoo for two months and was welcomed back in the most wholesome way possible by the pack of wolves she grew up with. Just look at the way they're wagging their tails and licking her face. 